What is up guys? It is Ricky with Raps Gang Gaming coming at you with some more Halo 4 gameplay. What you are looking at here is the 10th and final map that is going to be in Halo 4. This match is going to be Big Team Battle Infinity Slayer. So we're going to get to see all kinds of ordnance drops and mayhem with all kinds of vehicles. Be it ghosts, warthogs, wraiths, it don't matter. It's all here and we're going to get to see some really cool battles. Now as the name of the map may suggest, Vortex, if you look periodically while this guy is playing the match you can see some tornado looking stuff going into the main building in the middle and it seems to be spinning around making some sort of tornado looking thing i don't know if it's maybe to make like some sort of energy source that the prometheans have come up with yeah we'll just use wind to power all our xboxes and whatnot so that's really cool i like the fact that if you look up you just have this beautiful artwork to see see if you look there you can actually see the tornado going into the middle structure there it looks amazing this map looks so good it reminds me of the halo 2 days uh, waterworks amazing map this just screams waterworks here and I really really enjoy this that map in Halo 2 now one thing I wanted to point out here with the sticky detonator did you see there he's sprinting and you can also see where he was holding down the R trigger and it actually was showing it on the little reticle there that you were still holding it letting you know if you let go of it it would explode so I really like the fact that you can still sprint while holding that I think that's a really cool idea and I'm definitely digging that Another thing that I really wanted to look at during this match was to actually see how many points you had to get in order to get an ordnance drop. Right now we are at 50 points. We got 40 earlier for a super combine kill and blowing up that ghost and the guy inside. Then you got a DMR kill and that gave us a total of 40 and then we just got another 10 points for killing that guy with a DMR. So I, I want to see exactly how many points it takes to actually get an ordnance drop so we can kind of time when exactly it is that we'll be getting that. I haven't seen anybody harp on that, and I just wanted to kind of see for myself and uh, check it out. Now, another thing, I really like how this guy uses the thruster pack. I've actually been watching a lot of Halo 4 gameplay here lately, and that's, I think I'm actually going to start using that out of the gate, if at all possible. I definitely like the idea of being able to dodge grenades and go behind cover, and even cover a further distance whenever you're jumping to different platforms. It just sounds really good to me. I, I like being able to cover far distances and I don't know, it just seems really comfortable. I'm thinking about using Bumper Jumper when the game first comes out and having the armor abilities right there on the X button just seems so natural and definitely cannot wait to try that out for myself. Some other things about Vortex that I really like are the man cannon placements. If you notice, they're all pointed generally towards the middle platform or the middle building there. And there we go, there's 20, 40... I don't know if that's 20 or 40 points. Ooh, incineration cannon. There we go. Let's check out that kill cam. Boom! Get out of here. That was amazing. Definitely, I want to use that gun right now. But here we'll see him get in the man cannon and go directly to the middle building. I can definitely see a lot of battles going on here Try to gain control. I, I think this is going to be a really powerful control area for the map because it has a higher elevation and that's just where everybody's going and I think if you can control that you'll win a match every single time and there we saw him get a 15 points for a headshot giving us a total of 95 so that's pretty much gonna say you have to get 95 to 100 points for your first ordinance drop Maybe we see a, or his first ordnance drop just dropped and he got the concussion rifle from Halo Reach every single time I, I want to say percussion but it's not it's not percussion it's concussion so yeah, there we go, got a nice revenge kill on the guy who just got him, very nice. See I like, well I was going to say I like how he stays up top but he immediately drops down. So I, I mean you just have such a clear view of the entire map pretty much once you're up there. But I guess this guy likes to run and gun. I noticed earlier when he was going to kill that guy with the overshield, he clearly could have killed him with his plasma pistol with an overcharge shot, but he just instead decided to run up and try to melee him, which obviously is not going to work out. So I don't think this guy quite understands how a plasma pistol works, because here in just a few seconds we'll actually see him run head on towards a warthog. He actually gets some nice kills off of it, but he definitely could have handled the situation differently. But check this out, he sticks the warthog and dodges it to the side like a boss with the thruster pack picks up a triple kill and then finishes it off with a nice tea bag uh, get those in your face I applaud you sir thoroughly enjoyed that just melted some faces there <laughs> that was nice I gotta hand it to you I would have handled the situation differently would have just oh here we go now he's charging it I did see this is what I would have done with the warthog but anyways there we go gets a nice headshot right there very nice shot 
Now, I really like the way this guy uses Thruster Pack. Like, he, he sees he's getting shot and tries to go around behind the guy. Like, he's just so aggressive. But, unfortunately, there was, like, 80 million other blue team over there. I like these kill cans. We saw him using Promethean Vision. An interesting choice for such a big map. But, oh, here we go. Ordnance drop for the binary rifle. I have yet to see this gameplay for this weapon. But, oh, it just, look at that thing. It looks so awesome. It's like a little spaceship in his hands. Uh, now, if we get to see it, I actually want to point out if you are, if he ever zooms out, if you look on his radar there, you can actually tell what vehicles are in the map around you. Uh, now, you saw that that one was just kind of light blue, the Warthog, and that's simply because no one was in it. But if your teammates are in it, you know, it'll be yellow. But if you have like an enemy ghost, which we'll probably see right here since he's in it, but you can actually see on your radar right there a red ghost. So you now know what vehicle specifically it is and whether or not there's an enemy or an ally in it. Not only that, but if there are any vehicles just outside of the reach of your radar, like it'll actually show either a yellow or a red arrow. And I just really like that so that you know your surroundings a lot better. Very good uh, upgrade to the radar, I would say. As you can see it, the Warhog about to come into the radar. But that is going to be game over, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. That is the 10th and final map that is going to be in Halo 4 on day one release. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for some more Halo 4 goodness. My name is Ricky with Rapsguyan Gaming, and I thank you for watching. Rapsguyan!